This tutorial will show you how easy it is to create an MP3 file with Audacity. Audacity is a freeware and can be installed on Windows 7, Mac OS X and Linux. You can also install it on a memory stick and work from there, from your office or at home. Once you have it, check your sound settings. Ensure that your microphone is plugged in and that your sound recording settings are set to microphone and not line in. To do that on Windows 7, click on the little speaker at the bottom right of your screen, then Mixer. A window opens, select the Recording tab as shown on the screen. Ensure that your microphone is set to default, double click on the microphone, then check that your sound levels are 200%, Recommendations for reading texts. Display sentences in short chunks in your text. That way, your reading pace is more relaxed and your eye can see the end while reading the beginning. Have your text on one page or on screen to scroll. Avoid shuffling pages while recording and hold your head up while reading for a clear voice. Keep on recording. You can stop pause and repeat the sentence if you stumble on a word. Keep the rhythm and voice tone through the recording. Edit after you have recorded your whole text. That way you have the big picture and you can delete and re-record the parts you need to change. Now you are ready to open Audacity. To start recording, click on the red button. An audio track will appear with a waveform displaying your sound frequencies. If you need to pause momentarily, click on the blue pause button, then resume when you are ready. To listen to your recording, click on the yellow stop button, then green play button. If you wish to continue recording after you have stopped, click at the end of your audio track, then press the recording button again. A second track will appear underneath, with your voice's waveform, and a third and a fourth if you stop and record again. To remove parts of your audio track, highlight the part with your mouse, then delete on your keyboard. To remove a full audio track, click on the tiny cross at the top of the track. The track will disappear and you can either start recording again or save your work. There are many options to enhance the quality of your file. You can change the pitch, tempo, speed and volume. For example, to increase the volume of your original recording or part of, select Amplify. A window with a cursor will appear and you can scroll the cursor to the right or the left to tweak the volume. Save your project regularly while editing your files. Saving creates an AUP file and a folder of the same name with raw data. Remember, AUP file can only be opened with Audacity. Exporting as MP3 or other audio format means that your file is playable with the player of your choice. MP3 is the most common audio format. When exporting as MP3, you get a metadata form to fill in with ownership information. It is essential to add metadata if you include recordings that are not yours. Well, your audio recording is now ready. Thank you for watching.